Hello, this is Eric of Sparky Tech, and welcome to my review of the LTC reverse flow fans, as well as the non reverse flow and the white fans. And we're going to interconnect them and see how many you can connect to our PC. No worrying about connecting the fan to the hub and the hub to USB and then the hub to um, serial ATA. And if you have a modular power supply, you now connect a cable that you may not be using. Now, what is the disadvantage? If you don't have an ARGB port, then this is not for you. At about $10 per fan, ARGB interconnecting fans, mirror finish, insane deal. In fact, I'm using those right now. This is gone bye-bye. And full disclosure, this was provided, no money was exchanged. I bought these ones on purpose so I could find out what the white ones look like. And ever since I reviewed the original review, I've been using that ever since. Now let's get started. Yeah. Please look in the pinned comments. I have my original review. I'm not gonna go through all the different screw types and everything else again, including which motherboards are compatible again. So yeah, watch that down in the description below after you watch this. Now most motherboard headers are rated for one app. Three together is listed as only 0.65 amps. That means I can, should technically, be able to connect four of these in one shot. And with enough power, I can even connect eight of them, apparently. The three pins here are the ARGB, and I have the header pin right here that connects to it. So I'll connect that right now. And now that this is connected, if I want to connect more fans or more headers, I'll use the other one. In this case, I'm gonna use the white one. Arrow to arrow, as we see right here. And then I have a connection point to interconnect even more if I wanted to. Here is our fan header on my particular motherboard. This is my system fan header. We can see a little plastic groove above those four pins to show it is for a fan. And here is the grooves that slides into. As simple as that. Now, if I want to interconnect different fans to the same header, I can do so. Just like that. Now we have the white and the black interconnected. To interconnect our fans, we have to have the circuit board aligned with the circuit board pins. And we simply put into the large holes, as we can see right there. Slide it over. You might need both hands. Right there, it's in. And we still have another groove, so let's connect that one. And slide it in, just slide it over. Let's take that little tape off. It's gonna come with our lovely packing tape. There we go, nice shiny. Whether you have the reverse flow right here or the forward flow fan, white or black, we can see the circuit boards shiny to shiny side. So that's the way we have to do it. But we can see the fan hub this one's facing this way, airflow. That is reverse flow. This one is flowing inside the case. And that's how we see the difference. Let's connect all four and see if this even works because this will be a first try for me. Now to find out if these four fans work on one fan header, this is just a standard one amp fan header. Technically it should work because three of them is listed at 0.65 amps and pretty much all fan headers, unless they're a reader header, which will give you more power, by the way, is rated for one amp, which means I should be able to connect all four fans. And there we go. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is change that fan speed because right now they're pretty much at full speed. Install your motherboard software for fan speed control, or you can go in the BIOS as I'm gonna do and change my setting. For my particular motherboard, I'm going to go to my settings. And right now, everything is set to max. And it's also DC. I want to change that to PWM. And I want to change it, in my case, to Smart Fan. Because I'm going to turn everything right down. Set your fan speed where you want, temperature-wise and everything. But if you want silence, this is what I do. And right here is my fan speed. Let's get a closer look if I can and the RPM is going right down. No low speed fan header attached. And that's our low speed, low noise adapter. They'll give us lower speed if we so choose so. I'm hoping 
that instead of buying an Octua brand, that LTC will actually release their own. So please do it, LTC. RGB control. Unlike the major brands, we are not locked down to their software. We can either use our motherboard software or we can use OpenRGB, which is 100% free. Leave a link in the description for your convenience. Click download. We got Windows, we got Mac for ARM CPUs, and we also have Linux. And here's OpenRGB running. Click the effect I want. I'm gonna go to Lightning. Meteor. Planetary. Just to show you a few. Really good stuff. Now let's get on to the fans, how many we can install. Mix and matching. Nine fans, all connected to the same ARGB header. No problem. And five connected to the radiator pump. In fact, I probably could do eight of these to my radiator pump because uh, check with your motherboard manual. But if you have two amps, you can do, you should be able to do, no problem, up, up to eight fans. You may wonder if it's fine to use white fans with a black case. Absolutely. Either way. Yeah, I think we're good either way. Unless, of course, the white shows too much and your particular case mesh makes it show too much. Generally, I'd recommend a white fan for a white case. And how does it compare to, say, their keyboard? The white is slightly different shade. Let's see if I get a better view here so I can show you. Not quite the exact same color, just slightly different. At the one side, we have a nice mirror finish with RGB along the mirror finish. And on the back side, we even have a little bit of RGB showing through the circle of this hub. Very nice and stylish without costing a freaking fortune at about $30 USD. Not too shabby for three pack of fans, whether you want white or black. And we can interconnect a pile of these. All these eight fans interconnected. We can see the white cables attached to the black, which is hard to see because the lighting's not proper, but let's see what happens to disconnect them. There we go. $10 per fan USD mirror finish ARGB interconnecting. No hub required. I can connect 16 of these if I wanted to on my particular motherboard. Do I need a hub? Do I need to use serial ATA if I have a modular power supply and connect an extra cable if I don't already have a serial ATA device connected? This has to connect to USB 2.0 with a hub. Plus, the hub has wires from the fans to the hub. Corsair QX fans, also reviewing this channel. How about the SWA fans? Oh, you have to connect them to Molex, a lot of motherboards power supplies, modern day, don't necessarily have Molex. People said, but you can use more power. 16 fans. Do I need more power? Do I need to use serial ATA? Do I need to connect to USB 2.0? No, I don't. The simplicity is the point here. I ripped out the ARGB because I was tired of all these stupid cables from regular fans. It just drives me absolutely batty. Less cables. Tie it up together if they're a little bit cluttered, then be done with it. A couple of the fans had slight bearing noise. It's kind of hard to hear, but either way. I noticed the same thing with Noctua fans. But I'm a fan of, pun intended, extreme silence. Thanks again for watching, and have yourselves a most wonderful day.